Okay. All right. So homework today is for Monday, December fourth. Homework number thirty-four. Now the homework this week, because if by any, if I calculate this correctly, homework will be doing the order of operations, likely. All right. So having said that, I think it's good for homework that you guys just practice adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing fractions. Okay. So let's just do like hold on. Let's do one of each, and then that's it. I don't want to overburden you with the video. Okay. Anyways, all right. So here we're gonna add these two fractions very quickly. So here we're gonna find the what common denominator first, which is what? Yeah, forty, not eighty. It could be eighty. It doesn't change anything. You have to reduce it at the end though. So eight times five is forty. So five times five is twenty-five. Ten times four is forty-one. Times four is four. So nice and easy, twenty-nine fortieths. All right. Now, since since adding, subtracting are the same rules except till the end when you're adding or subtracting. Uh, let's not do any more of this. Okay. All right. Let's do one where you're multiplying, dividing. So let's do divide because divide is just multiplication with one more step, right? So why don't we do that? Okay, so first step is keep change flip. So right on top, right on, right each letter on top of the respective parts. Keep change flip like that. Cross cancel if necessary. Yes is necessary. And then seven times one is seven. Four times three is twelve. Notice, right? I don't cross cancel until. This is a multiplication problem. You notice how I didn't keep change flip around here, right? Meaning I didn't cross cancel around here. It's because cross canceling only works when you're multiplying. Okay, please remember that. Okay, all right, that's it. We're done here. Thanks for. Oh, I gotta put the answer in. That's it. All right. So thanks for watching. Have a good day. I will see you guys tomorrow. All right. Bye now. OMG, that was so good.